Okay, uh, welcome to the tutorial. This is a tutorial for where we've uh, posted a purchase ledger invoice uh, for an expense invoice incorrectly in the Sage 50 system. Okay, so I'll just open up the Sage 50. The version I've got is Sage 50 um, version 22, which is the latest version. Um, if yours isn't this version, it may look slightly different, etc. So uh, we'll just work in. This is the one that we're going to work on. So what I have there is um, a list of transaction, or sorry, I have a list of, a, of supplier accounts. And I'm going to try and reverse a transaction um, within the system. Okay, one thing in here, in order to be able to reverse it, it has to be in base currency. So that's one important thing just to just to bear in mind uh, that it has to be in base currency. If it's not in ster in sterling or base currency, then you may may have issues in, in attempting to amend it. You may have to just post the opposite transaction. But I'll just uh, double click into this transaction just to have a look. So double click in the account. Why is when paid products? Okay, and I'm going to move on to the activity tab just to see the transactions on there. Okay, the transaction I'm going to um, do some work on today is uh, the invoice with a reference of 1236. Okay, so this was an invoice dated uh, 28th of March 2014, um, which was for £52. Okay, and it was posted to nominal account 5000 with a department of two. So what we're going to do is say actually it should have gone to nominal account 5001 with a department of two. Okay, so I can see from this inquiry that my audit trail reference is number 550 and this is an important number that we need to find. So if we're trying to reverse a transaction or do any amendments to it, this is where we need to be. So I've got transaction number, I can see that in the top screen as well, 550 uh, under 1236. And so you can see at the bottom that it's been analysed to nominal code 5000 and department two. So I'm going to do now is just click close on this uh, this inquiry in supply record, and then I need to go across to my transactions. So I click on the transactions option off the left hand menu. If you don't have some of these options, um, that'll be down to your permissions. So I am actually logged in as the user manager, which has full permissions. If you have any options that are missing or you don't have things like the edit etc available, then it may well be down to your permission. So if that's the scenario, you would need to speak to your um, manager or, or Sage Systems company to arrange for extra permissions to be allocated to your user. Okay, And we know that the transaction I'm looking for was 550, so uh, I currently can't see that on there, but in order to find it, I can have got a search function at the top, so I can just key in 550. Hit return and that'll then filter the list down. Okay, so it's finding other transactions that have got 550 in there, but this is the one that we're interested in, this second one uh, under Wiseman. As I've selected this transaction, you can see I've now got options to edit or delete the transaction, etc. Okay, if it was allocated, I would have the ability to unallocate it, but it's not uh, currently allocated. So what I need to do is just click edit on this transaction. Okay, let's click just one, it's going to close all windows and open this transaction. So I want to continue, yes. Okay, so now I've got my transaction open. Okay, to then get further into this transaction, so to amend the actual nominals, what I need to do is just click edit after selecting. So I've selected the transaction and now I need to click edit. Okay, then I go down and you can see here where the nominal analysis is selected to say to post this to nominal code 5000 with department 2. Our amendment is that we want to go to 5001 with a department of 2. So as I select on this drop down, I can then select 5001. Okay, then I just click OK to select that. That's the nominal I want to post it to. Alternatively, I can sort of double click on there and that will do the same thing. I'll just click OK there when it highlighted. That's now taken me into there. I'm going to click Close. That's then saving that away and posting it now to 5001 instead of 5000. Okay, to actually do the final bit and post this off, all I do is I just click Save on the system. What this is actually going to then do, so I'll just say yes there. What it's actually going to do is it will amend the nominal from there to 5000 to 5001, um, but it will also add in two new entries. So basically, that, so there's three entries in total now. So this was the original transaction, and we see that one's now been cancelled. Yep, so it just informed you that I've cancelled that transaction now because uh, of the issues that we had. So I'll just need to uh, clear that away. Okay, so if I now sort by the audit trail number, Okay, and I can see the latest audit trail number, which is down the bottom right of the screen, so 1241. So the entries that it's just created will be 1240 uh, and 1241. Okay, so 1240 is a transaction that's down there. So that says that one's been cancelled off. Yep, so it's explaining that it's cancelled that original transaction. Uh, and it's now posted a new transaction to 5001. 
Okay, so there's these two transactions that are there, and I say the original one is transaction 550. So that's now amended that transaction, and it's now posted to nominal code 5001. So we go back to same as supplier account, just double click in, and we'll now be able to see that under the activity, uh, the new transaction is there. So I'll just scroll like a little just to confirm that the old one, so the 550 has disappeared which is the one that had the reference of one to, oh sorry it's still there but it's it's now cancelled so then so the effect on the accounts is zero and if I scroll down to the bottom we've now got a new transaction for £52 um, that has gone through and hit nominal code 5001 with the department of two now okay uh, there's a similar sort of thing if we're in say sales ledger again if we amend the transaction it will create a cancel transaction and then rewrite out a new transaction for it. Okay, this concludes this uh, training session. Hopefully it's been informative for you. Thank you very much. Bye.